I'm showing you these numbers so you can be motivated, so you can post. Don't be the 99% that are just gonna watch this and not gonna do anything about it. I want you guys to follow what I'm gonna teach you here, the process. I want you to create something, but I'm gonna give you more details on that later. First, let's go ahead and dive into it. This is the exact process I used to go from zero followers to an audience of almost 70,000 in just three months of posting. So here we have a breakdown of the three months that I started posting. Let's go over it together. And then I'm gonna show you why this is important when I talk about the process. So here we have June and July, no posts. A lot of information in my head, a lot of content I wanted to put out, but I just never took the first step. So then right here we have August. August was when I first posted one of my tutorial videos, teaching people how to do AI videos. And with that, we have a following beginning to grow. 1.8 thousand. And you can see here we have the growth, the percentage right here. So that, was, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. But I did take the first step, which is to post. 99% of people just consume information, they learn things, and they never post. In September, something crazy happened. I started posting more and more. I got my first viral video. So we can see here on the bottom, very small on the last line, 47,540,000 ,40, followers from August. So now the audience is 48,000. And we can see all the other numbers, 14 million views just in September. In October, even more views, because I already cracked the code, right? Once I learned everything I learned in September, now I have a following of 67. The growth wasn't as much. We have 18,000, almost 19,000 followers in the growth part. And then up here, the views are way more, 54 million views. Because in this time, the video went viral, but it wasn't a value video. It was kind of a meme video. People don't really follow you for meme videos. They follow you for value. They follow you for creative approach. If they like your style, they'll follow you. But if it's just a video that blends in, that gets the hype going, you get a lot of, lot of views, but not as many followers. This is the video that I was able to produce that got the number of most followers just because it connected with the audience. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I made that. And this is the point of this video is not to show you a bunch of numbers, but to show you the tools that I used to produce those videos and how you can do the same with your own ideas, with your own niche, with your own creativity. And here are the numbers behind this video, 17 million, and look at the watch time, five years. That's what's crazy about it, right? Five years, 275 days worth of watching. And it all started with an idea, a topic, and five photos just like this that I was able to generate with AI and then animate. If you have my course, you've been watching the course, you know exactly how I animated it. But today I'm gonna show you the speed round of how I created everything. So if you wanna step by step, if you're not watching this inside of the course and you found this video on YouTube or somewhere else, check out the description. There's a free course there that I walk you step by step on how to approach this creative system. In this video, I'm still gonna cover the process, but it's not gonna be as detailed as it is in the course. And you're gonna have homework. In this video, you're gonna watch everything that I do here. You're gonna be able to create the same exact video style for free because your initial credits are gonna be free. And I'm gonna give you the homework of posting it. So follow the instructions, follow the final call to action, which will be to post it and tag me so I can repost it and grow your following. And also you can follow other people that are in the same course as you, that are in the same system that I'm teaching. So you guys can follow each other and see what you're creating in that community. With that said, I hope you're ready to watch this and learn, but don't be like the 99% of people that are just gonna watch it and receive that information and not even do anything with it. Remember those first two months, June and July, I didn't post anything. I had all the information, but I didn't post. Once I started posting, August, September, October, I was able to achieve something I never thought would be possible, which is to have clients reaching out to me. I never DM'd anybody for work. After those videos blew up, I received hundreds and hundreds of messages from people and dozens and dozens of messages wanting to work with me. Here we are in Weavy AI. If you're in the course right now, you saw everything that came past this. So you have all the lessons on how to access this and how to create workflows. And we're gonna use one of the templates I showed you in the course, I believe in lecture four, is where we learned how to create a model template on how to build your model, how to build your character. And just like I built the character that I was able to animate right here in these videos, you're gonna build your own character. And this resource, again, will be linked in the course description. It's our DJI model builder. So in the model builder, 
I'm gonna go through it fast because I already showed you how to build this. This is the exact process I used to create that video that I just showed you with 17 million views. The difference is the background is black instead of white and I'm gonna show you how to change that if you wanna create a dark background like I did. This is the model I'm gonna be using to show you how to build this and this is your homework. Remember, I'm showing you this because I want you to do the exact same thing. And this is a template that anyone can use. It's free for you to use. It's free for you to join the website. So first off here in our model builder, we have gender, my value, I typed in female. We have age, 30 years old, race, Asian, body type, slim, clothing, futuristic. You can type something like 30 BC style, tunic, ancient clothing, modern clothing, winter clothing, spring clothing. So I simply type futuristic on here. Style, minimalistic, you can leave it blank or you can say fancy, you can say business casual, you can say beach outfit, whatever style you wanna have your character dress in. Once you have that completed, this is the first step right here. Step one, fill out model preferences below. Number two, the second step, don't worry about anything else in here. This is something that's just behind the scenes. Number two is this, run this LLM model above. So this is the model that's going to take every information that we entered, every direction, and it's gonna create a master prompt for us. So I ran this model already. So with that, we're gonna just take a look at the quick beginning here. We're not gonna read the whole thing. A hyper-realistic, high-fashion Asian model, age 30 with smooth, light, beige skin, blah, blah, blah. So all of that created our model right here. And that brings us to the third step, run model to generate your character. So I already ran this. So when I hit run, it took the prompt here that I just read to you and created this character right here for us. Here's where things start falling into shape. This is all part of your homework. You're gonna do this and you're gonna post a video. It's gonna be an eight second video or you can combine a bunch of eight second videos like I did and you can create a 16 second video. You can create a 24 second video, 32 second video. But at least I want you to approach the first step which is create the eight second video by following the exact same steps I'm giving you here. So here we have step number four, run to generate camera angle prompts. So now that we have the master image right here of this model, we're gonna create a bunch of different angles to see which one we like better for our animation. So once I ran this, okay, the job of this node is to create five different angles for that same model. Five different prompts that's going to give us different style images. So we have here, the first one is a ma macro shot, very close up shot. This one is a close up shot. And now I didn't run the other ones because I wanna do it so you can see what happens here. So essentially this is gonna break down into five different angles. So let's go ahead and take the last step which is run all image nodes to generate your photo shoot. So here we have the two images. Let's generate the third image right here, run model. And let's do this one here. Let's run this one and let's run this one. All right, all the generations are done. It took about 15 seconds. The third image is a medium shot. Here we have a wide full body side angle shot. And here we have a full front shot. So this is a wide, wide, medium. All this is automated. All this is built in for you. So all you have to do again is follow the sticky notes, create your models. Now you can download all of them. So I just click export and that's gonna open up a window on your computer. You have to be on the desktop for this. Let's export the second one. And I'm just saving it on my computer as I go. Fourth. Now I saved all of these, but I'm not gonna use all of them. If you want, you can generate an eight second video for this one, eight second video for this one, and so on, and create a bunch of eight second videos, stitch them all together to create a cohesive, consistent character. But in my case, just like in the case of the videos before, I downloaded the close-up shot. So this is exactly the framing that I use for these videos right here, you see? I created this character. Now, if you want to create a black background like I did, you have to go back, and this is optional, go back to this prompt right here, guys, that says, right here, you see, right after the webbing goes on, the first one that has the box with all the information, you might have to unlock it first, because right now it's gonna be locked for you, so unlock it. Find where it says white, background. So on the third paragraph, you see where it says here, one, two, three, you're going to have the same exact language in yours. So 
The background is minimalistic, infinite white screen, enhancing the model's futuristic, blah, blah. So right here is where you're gonna change. The background is minimalistic, infinite white. The background is minimalistic, infinite black. So that's exactly how I did that. So if I change it here, I'm gonna change it back to white. But if I put black, when you run this, you have to rerun it, okay? When you run this, now it's gonna give the directions of the background to be black. So let me go ahead and run this. You have to, if you change anything on the prior steps, you have to move forward again, step by step. So now we created that with the black background. So if I run this one here, watch what happens. All right, so now we have an Asian model with the infinite black background. Now you notice that this is not the same woman, or it could be, she just has her hair in a different way here, here this time, because this is our master image. So every time you run this, it's going to be still the same characteristics, right? 30 year old Asian woman, futuristic dress, whatever you prompted before here in the option boxes, but this is the master prompt. So every time you run this, it's gonna be a different character, a different model. And then this is where you're gonna clone that model and create the consistent look. So if you're not happy with this, keep running this node until you get a model that looks like what you wanna create. If I ran this again, it will be this model with that same hair, the same clothing, the background will be black from now on. So let me go ahead and off screen here, I'm gonna change it back to white. And on this, you just wanna create your model. So the background doesn't matter. The background has to be either solid white or solid black. You can take it straight just the way the background is and take it to the video prompt and you can create the video from the image. But let's say you wanna place your model in a specific setting, whether it's outdoors, indoors, whatever setting you want. You have to use the other workflow template that I showed you, which is the multi-angle scene builder. The multi-angle scene builder is where you're gonna upload those images that we just downloaded of the model. You're gonna plug them in here, as many as you want. It can be one, two, three, the more the better for consistency, but you put the image right here, you put the image right here, and then here you're gonna put the setting that you want that model to be in. And you can add stuff to it, you can keep adding nodes. Again, if you took the course, this is gonna be on lesson five. I show you how to use this, I showed you how I built it, but you don't have to know how to build it. This is available for you for free, the same template, the links in the description or the class resources. And I have all the directions here. So this is how you place that model now in the world or the setting or environment that you want. But for this, Tutorial for this homework, this is all your homework. You're gonna be able to do this and I want you to tag me. This is the whole point. I want you to create this, even if you just make this one video and you never create anything else again, at least make one so you can see how it works and you're gonna get a passion for it just like I have and you're gonna wanna make more and you're gonna create better content and you can either, hey, post it for fun, post it for entertainment, post it to build your portfolio to then get clients. Cause trust me, once you get your first viral video, you're gonna have more people reach out to you than you wanna work with. And that's what's great about this because you can start for free. This is all tools that you can start for free without committing to it. So here, let's go back to our model builder, okay? So this guys is the final step, is downloading all the images and you're gonna get a clear template. You're not gonna have any of this in here. You got, your template's gonna look more or less like mine here. So just follow the sticky notes. Now, even if you stop right here and you just download the images, post the images, okay? Post them to your stories, post them to your carousel, post them anywhere that you can insert images and then tag me in it. And you can use it to show the behind the scenes in your story. So even if you plan on building the video, which is the next step, I'm gonna show you how to create the video. Post the images to your stories and say, hey, I'm building a cool piece, look forward to it being posted tomorrow, being posted today. That builds the hype. If you look at my highlights on my Instagram, I archived some of the behind the scenes stories that I posted before that video that got 17 million views. So you can see like me building it up before it actually went viral. And I didn't know it was gonna go that viral. It was the news that week and it was met with my ability to create those videos and to express what I was feeling at that time by making that video. And that was the perfect combination of knowledge meeting creativity. And that same thing can happen for you, but it won't happen unless you post. Now that I downloaded these images, you can either do two steps, and I've showed you this in my course. You can take it to Google Flow and animate it there, animate it using Google VO3, or you can just keep it in right here and put a Google VO3 node in here. So in here, we're just gonna type VO. We're gonna do the image to video node. We're gonna drag it right here. 
this is the image I want to animate. So I'm going to drag the results over to my first frame. So now it's equipped with my first frame right here. And here on the right, on the panel, I'm going to move my screen so you guys can see the option panel here. Everything looks good here. And this is going to be a 916. So it's going to be a portrait image. So we have to change this to 916. The duration is all default, eight seconds. Everything is good, 1080p. Good, good. All you have to do is change the aspect ratio to 916 because this image is portrait. Now here, we're gonna insert our prompt. What? How do we wanna animate this? What do we wanna tell AI to do with this? So here we're gonna just type in and search for a prompt node. And we're gonna tie, tie in this prompt node to the prompt connection right here. And that's all we need to do as far as the connection goes. And now we just need to type our prompt. Now this is as simple as saying something like this. Character says, this is my first AI speech. I'm not really sure what to say. This video is not gonna go viral guys, so don't post something like this, okay? This is just me not having any idea of what to type and just typing this so you guys can understand how this works. When you first sign up for Weavy, they gave you 150 credits. So now over here, if we run this, Inside of Weavy, it's gonna be 120 credits. That's the cost. So if I move myself, right, if I move the screen right here, you see 120 credits, you're gonna have enough credit just to make this video inside of Weavy, if you like, or you can still make it for free inside of Google Flow. If you sign up for Google Flow, and I'll leave a link for you down in the resources, you're gonna be able to try it for free for your first month. You're gonna be able to generate, I believe, 50 videos. So 58 second videos, that's a lot for an entire month. And then if you wanna keep it going after that, it's gonna be $20 a month and you can generate 50 videos inside of Google Flow. And then there's also a trick to create an additional 90 videos, okay? In addition to the 50 for the $20 a month, you can create 90 more videos for that month inside of Gemini. And if you wanna learn how to do all that, if you wanna learn how to do Google Flow, if you wanna learn how to prompt for Google Flow, check out my VO3 course. It's a paid course, but I really took my time to show you from the very beginning on how to create your prompts. It's a master course on everything that you need about Google Flow. So right now I'm assuming that you know how to prompt some prompt basics and you can create something very simple, just like I showed you here with this simple prompt. Look, you don't need a course to know how to type this. Character says, this is my first AI speech. I'm not really sure what to say, but if you wanna get more creative, you wanna get more into the weeds of creating the best prompts that are gonna help you stand out, check out my course on that. But for now, everything that you need to do for this homework is free. The course that I'm teaching you this through right now, it's a free course, right? If you're watching this on YouTube, it's a free video. The sign up for Weavy first month is free. And if you wanna create it inside of Weavy, the video still free. Or if you wanna take it out and take it to VO3 on Google Flow, so also free. So there's no, don't be spending any money if you're not gonna stick around with this information for you to create a long-term plan for your social media. Remember those stats I showed you in the beginning were just to show you what's possible. It wasn't to show you, hey, look what I did because it's very hard to recreate it unless you're the 1% that's gonna be doing it. And also you have the creativity to get to the market and speak to them in a way that goes viral. Once you create that video, once you enter that prompt and you, you run this prompt inside of Weavy and you get your video downloaded right here or you create it inside of Google Flow, download it right here, click the download button, download the video. Now you have one video. If you wanna create more than one, tie them up. Get a different angle of the model. Get this angle right here. Get, get this angle, for example, download it, create another video, start tying them up inside of, and I tying them up, I mean just editing them together, right? Put them either on CapCut or inside the native Instagram app editor. And it doesn't have to be posted just on Instagram. Post it on YouTube Shorts, post it on TikTok if you have it, and tag me. My tag is right here. It's across all platforms the same. Twitter or X, anywhere that your audience is at, that you hang out at, post this homework video and tag me. And I'll repost it like that. Other people can see it, maybe follow you if they like what they see. And it gives you the connection to network with other creators that are creating the same content. This is your homework. Create the video, post it, tag me, what else did I miss? Oh, lastly, rate the course. So this right here, if you're watching it through the course, or if you're watching it on YouTube, leave a comment, leave a like, but in the course, at the end, you're gonna get a uh, rating, right? A request. Make sure you rate the course. It's a free course, so hopefully I gave you the five-star experience so you can rate that. And it does help other people to find it because the more ratings it gets, 
the higher it's gonna rank in the system. So guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm excited to see what you guys are gonna create. So be sure to tag me.